Hello, today our story is Rainbow Crow. It's retold by Nancy Van Lon and it's illustrated by Beatrix Vidal. It's a reading rainbow book. Rainbow Crow, a Lenape tale. Long, long ago, before the two-legged walked the earth, the weather was always warm and the animals were always happy. But one day something happened to cause the earth to grow cold. Tiny crystals like diamonds drifted down from the sky, covering the earth with a sparkling softness. The animals were seeing snow for the first time and were not afraid. But soon the snow deepened and Mouse disappeared. The tip of his tail was all the animals could see. They began to worry. Then Rabbit disappeared the tips of his ears were all the animals could see, and they worried some more. As they gathered together in a clearing deep inside the forest to talk about the weather and what was needed, they decided, was a messenger to travel at once to the great sky spirit and ask him to stop the snow. But who would be willing to leave Earth to visit the distant place where the sky spirit dwelled? Possum said, Owl is the wisest. Perhaps he should go. But no, the animals whispered. He might get lost in the light of day. So Owl should not go. Then Beaver said, Perhaps Raccoon should go. But no, the animals argued. He might follow his tail instead of his nose. So Raccoon should not go. Then Skunk said, Perhaps Coyote should go. But no, the animals shouted. Coyote is clever and loves to play tricks. He might chase the clouds or swallow the wind, so Coyote should not go. The noisy animals screeched and howled because they could not decide who should visit the great sky spirit to ask him to stop the snow. And so the snow grew deeper and deeper and deeper. The small animals climbed on top of the tall animals so they would not disappear. Suddenly, down from the top of the tallest tree flew Rainbow Crow, the most beautiful bird on earth, who called out to all of the other animals below in the sweetest voice of all. And he sang, I will go, I will go, stop the snow. And the animals, happy at last, to have Crow as their messenger, chanted a song of praise. Then, high up into the sky, flew Rainbow Crow, far above the snow and the winds of the earth, way beyond the moon, the stars, and the clouds. For three days, Crow flew until he came upon the great sky spirit, who was too busy to notice. So Rainbow Crow began to sing. The great spirit stopped to listen. Never before had he heard such a sweet song, such a sweet voice, sing such a beautiful song. And how he told Crow to choose a gift. Now Crow knew that far below on earth, the snow was getting so deep that soon all of the animals would disappear. So he asked the great spirit to stop the snow. The great spirit replied, no Crow, I cannot stop the snow for snow has a spirit of its own. When snow spirit leaves the clouds to visit its friends, wind spirit, the snow will stop, but earth will still be cold. So Crow asked the spirit to stop the cold. The crow, great spirit replied, no crow, I cannot stop the cold. All I can do is give you the gift of fire. Fire will keep you warm and will melt the snow so that your friends will be content until warm weather returns. The great spirit picked up a stick, put a bit of fire on the end of it, and handed it to Crow. I will give you this gift but once. Hurry, fly back to earth before the fire disappears. Off flew Crow. On the first day, as Crow flew, showering sparks of fire darkened his tail feathers. On the second day, as Crow flew down, the fire burned brighter and the stick grew shorter. All of Crow's feathers were covered with soot. 
On the third day, the crow flew down, the fire was so hot and the stick so short that the smoke and ash blew into Crow's mouth and his voice became cracked and hoarse. Caw, caw! And when the animals at last Crow returned to the clearing in the forest, all the animals had disappeared. Only the tops of the tallest trees could be seen. Their branches were sprouting, sprouting through the deep snow. So Crow, Crow flew round and round to the pale, pale ground around and around until the fire melted the snow and his friends were safe. And this tiny stick of fire became the grandfather of all fires. And for this, all the animals on earth thanked Crow. They danced and chanted a song of praise. At last, Crow, all alone, flew off to a distant tree where he wept. He was no longer beautiful. He could no longer sing a sweet song. His rainbow feathers were gone forever. When Snow Spirit emptied the clouds and joined the Wind Spirit, the snow stopped. The great Sky Spirit heard Crow and came down from the sky. When he saw Crow, he said, soon the two-legged will appear on the earth. He will take the fire and be master of you all. For being so brave and unselfish, I gave you the gift of freedom. Then Crow looked back and he saw hundreds of tiny rainbows shining in his black feathers and he was content. The great spirit returned to his home in the distant sky and the crow flew happily back, returned to his friends in the forest, proud that he was now black crow with shining feathers full of tiny rainbows. The end.